Remember we talked yesterday about when we did the push-ups that we're getting the shoulders down, packed, right? We're not arching our back. We're making our rib cage short. That's what we're gonna get to today. We're gonna talk about this hollow position. So when I hear about uh, all these people doing Pilates and things like that, it's great, but it's only great if you have your stomach, your core in the correct anatomical position, which means that you should be able to do this, right? You get into this position and you should be able to rock back and forth like so. If you are doing some version of that, that is not correct. Meaning that this whole thing has to be short, tucked, tight, compact when we move. And from here, we can do a bunch of things that will challenge that area. So if I'm on my back, I can do things like, I can keep my head down. Okay, I can keep my head down, I tuck my chin. You don't wanna be like this when you lay down. Tuck your chin, you can spread your fingers, and you can just do some basic dead bug movements. So when you do this, you may have seen this exercise many times in, in gyms, but let me kind of walk you through the mental checklist of what you should be thinking about. One, head down, tuck your chin. Two, I want to really spread my fingers. Why do I want to spread my fingers? Because we're doing this all day long. We're typing, we're texting, we're driving. Take the time to really open those fingers up and get those nerves, your radial and ulnar nerves to just really get open for once. From here, tucking our chin, right? I'm going to not bring my right arm back. I'm going to actually reach. I want to reach with my right arm and I want to reach out with my left leg. So I'm reaching, it's a reach, it's a reach, it's a reach, and I come back to center. It's a reach, and I come back to center. From here, I can now activate that short rib cage. I can go into that hollow position. How do I do that? I crunch up. So I come up, I'm, I'm crunching, and from here, I can make that same motion. Now I'm really challenging the, the center of my body here, to be in this position. So I am not doing this. I'm not doing this. I am making my rib cage really short, pushing my lower back down into the pad. I'm spreading my fingers and I reach to the ceiling with my left hand. I reach back with my right hand. My right knee drives in, my left leg goes out. So it's four things. So it's one, two, three, four on top of the short rib cage. Whoa, that's a lot to think about. That's what it's all about though. It's about technique. It's about getting really good at paying attention to your body. It's about really dialing into how your body moves, not just doing what something looks like, but having a mental checklist in your brain to say, these five things, one, two, three, four, you get it? So you can do a bunch of variations from there. You can do rotations, you can crunch up, you can go across your body. One, two, three, one, two, three. You can do all kinds of things in that, in that space. But if we don't start off with the correct base, it gets much, much harder to do. So similarly, like we talked about uh, the push-up, the plank yesterday, if we do things like abdominal rollouts, which I'll go get one right now, this, this evil little device. Similarly, right, I can start off easy and just don't go out very far. And I can go out a little bit further, right? And eventually, I can go really far out, tuck my, but I see I'm still tucking my chin. I tuck my chin, I tuck my pelvis, I have to lead with my pelvis. I can't do this. As the wheel goes out, my pelvis goes, right? I tuck my chin, and I can come all the way out. I tuck my chin, I come all the way out. I can make it harder by going on my toes, get a slight knee bend, I drop to my knees, and I come back. I can only do that if my rib cage is short. I can go side to side. I can come out, come back, I can come out, come back. I can go up on my toes, I can come out, and come back up standing. If you have never done that before, 
that's not something to start with unless you want to take your lower back out and wind up in the hospital. My point is, is that you can build up to different things to challenge this area. It starts with keeping this short and tight. It's the same thing on the ab straps, short and tight. You get the idea? Focus on that and I'll see you tomorrow.